Hey all, and welcome back to Fuzzy Dirt's Gaming and a new video on the channel just briefly going over how I plan to make currency and what my Atlas tree is going to look like on day one of the league. Now, we're obviously not talking about endgame Atlas because they've basically said the tree's not going to be out till about an hour before launch. I'm not going to have time to put any sort of content together then. So what I thought I'd do is bring out what my plan is for the tree before I even take any of those extra content nodes that might be available. All the nodes I'm going to take in my core tree early on uh, are still there. I've checked the reveal video. All the nodes are still there. So I thought I might as well bring out a video going through what I plan to do. And then I thought I'd just combine it with how I plan to make currency in the first day. So let's start with currency making. All I want to do before I hit maps is have enough currency to buy a five link. If I've acquired whatever the chaos is to buy one, let's say it's five chaos. If I've got enough to buy the chest that I want, then I'm not going to do any kind of heist in or anything. I'm just going to go straight through the campaign on this build, hopefully in about five hours. And then I'm just going to go and map straight away. If I don't have any money whatsoever, I'd really like to start mapping on a five link. It's just a nice early power boost. So I'll probably do some demolition contracts in highs. Nothing much. Five, six, seven contracts. Do the cows recipe. Maybe get 10 or 15 cows together. And then I'm just going to jump into map. Now, I know heisting is probably more profitable than early mapping, but I want to get my progress as early as possible. And the way the league falls for me in terms of start times is it's 7 p.m. And I'd like to go to bed when I'm at maps and I want to go to bed around one in the morning. So ideally, I want to be through the campaign in five hours with an hour to do the first few maps and get my gear in order. If I do heist, it's very likely I'm not going to finish the campaign until the next morning. And what I want to do is Saturday to just be my map progression day. Um, so that's my plan. I don't mind doing a tiny bit of heisting if I get really unlucky and don't get any chaos. In terms of the league mechanic, I'm definitely going to tinker with it, but I'm not going to look at it until I get to maps because it's probably not worthwhile. Yes, there might be some bug or exploit where you can get loads of money, but realistically, maps is where this sort of league mechanic takes off. And I'm probably going to be doing it in every map once I'm progressing my Atlas. I do want to try and progress as quickly as possible, but I do want to do the league mechanic. And that sort of ties in with the tree that I'm looking to do, which we're going to run through now. And all I'm looking to do when I progress is take essences, which is going to be most of my money is getting essences and selling them or using them to craft items and sell those crafted items. So it's not going to be any surprise at all. Literally, I don't think I've ever started a league and not taken these four nodes first. And then just to help out with Jun, I'm going to take these nodes here. So all these nodes do is they give you a slight chance for reinforcements to turn up with Syndicate and it gives me more chance to get a gym mission. As soon as I've got the unveils that I want, I'll unspec out of these. I'm not going to go big into Syndicate. So the crafts I'm looking for are Avoid Ailments, Maximum Life on Chest, Gravisius Chest Craft of Fizz as Elemental, Corel's Fizz as Fire, Elrion's Mana Cost, and I think that's it. I think that's kind of all I need. I might be forgetting one. Oh, an Ellie pen on a weapon. They're the crafts I want. As soon as I've got them, I'm happy to get them as and when, so I'll drop these notes. I'm then going to take Jun again just to help me get this bit done as quickly as possible. Then to help me with my build, because I'm going to be trying to push content as much as I can on as very little as possible, I'm going to go and take shrines. Then going to come, not that way, that's longer. <laughs> We're then going to come up here. And I'm actually going to go up through all the Kirak nodes. And these basically give you a chance to get a Kirak mission. They give you a chance to get scout reports and more chance to get a Kirak mission. They're really good early on. Because Kirak is where you solve your problem of, I've done all the T3 maps except this map. I can't get it to drop. What do I do? That's where Kirak really comes in handy. He's got a good chance of either offering you the map as a mission, or once you do another mission, selling it in his inventory. I'm then going to go and take Shape in the Valleys. I am going to go up here, down here, and down here eventually, but not yet. I would like more map sustain than this, so I will come down and take Shaping the Skies. That's kind of my map sustain notes for now. I'm going to beeline up here and take this essence and then these essences here. That then gives me all the essence nodes I need, and that gives me the ability to farm good essences that are worth money. Now, essence isn't on the map device this league, which means you're going to get one essence in a map. You might get two if the extra content turns up. You can pretty much guarantee to by stream of consciousness and blocking everything. But at this stage, I need the points. I can't afford to spend them all blocking. Um, and I'm not necessarily aiming for essences. It's just great to have guaranteed money in every map. So then once I've got the essences, I'm going to come and get these shrine nodes here so I can then get an extra effect from the shrine. Then I'm going to fill out some more map sustain here and then come down and get these ones here. If a build is strong, I might take these. And that's kind of the tree that I'm aiming for. I don't want to go any further than that 
because I don't know what content they're going to offer in the new Atlas tree. But it's unlikely it's going to be something I take. And I haven't been really that sold on any of the nodes so far. Um, so it might be that I go some sort of maven farming trying to get awakened gems. I really don't know until I see the tree. And I know it's a cop out, but there's no point second guessing what I might do. I would like Eldritch currencies. So it is a possibility that whatever the Eldritch nodes are, if they're the same here, I'll go up and take these. If you could still get this node, not that node. If you could still get Light of Dawn, I'll go up and take that. And then again, it's then deciding what I want to do. But for now, I'm not going any further than this. This is a rock solid League Starter Atlas tree if you want to make currency and progress your Atlas at the same time. It's not flashy, it's not exciting, but it works. The reason I'm ignoring stuff like Expedition, Harvest, things like that, A, they take time. B, they're much better and more profitable in higher tier maps. So I would rather rush through my map progression, taking all the nodes that help me along the way. And then when I'm in lower tier to mid tier red maps, I can then select the content that I want to do, knowing that when I'm farming it, I'm making as much money as possible. If I had to take a guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to do Eldritch Altars to get Eldritch currency so I can get my implicits crafted on my items. I'll then sell the leftovers and buy the Eater currency, finish my crafts, and then I think I'm going to do Blight. Blight is really, really good money, but it can be quite difficult. I'm hoping with the toned down of Arch Nemesis, it's a bit more manageable. So that's kind of what I'm going to look at. But again, I need to see what the nodes are. That's it for this video. It's a really quick one. Some people have asked, I thought, well, the Atlas tree is not coming out. So I may as well release a video of what I plan to do from the known Atlas tree. And um, that's it for the video. Leagues start tomorrow. I'll be streaming live on Twitch uh, from seven o'clock, putting the uh, Reign of Arrows Raider through its paces. I hope you join me. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and see you in the next one.